Let's start with ketones. So you're probably wondering what ketones are and what your ketone readings mean. As you modify your diet to include lots of green foods, healthy fats, protein, and full fat dairy products, you'll eat fewer carbohydrates. This means less glucose or sugar in the body. A good thing for most people, especially those with type 2 diabetes. So instead of burning glucose for energy, your body will burn fat. When your liver breaks down fat, it produces fatty acids called ketones. The liver sends ketones into the bloodstream and gives your body energy. People tend to make more ketones when they are fasting, doing intense exercise, minimizing the carbohydrates they eat, or in the case of type 1 diabetes, a complete lack of insulin. When you start the twin service, it's normal to see your ketone levels rise. A number between 0.5 and 3.0 usually means your body is responding to your dietary changes and moving into what is known as nutritional ketosis. This means your body is burning fat for energy. As your ketone levels rise, it is common to experience some unpleasant symptoms, sometimes called the keto flu, including headaches, body aches, fatigue, tiredness, fever-like symptoms, dizziness. These symptoms are normal and will likely improve as your body adjusts to your new diet. The first trick to help with these symptoms is to stay well hydrated. Drink 32 ounces of water daily and another 32 ounces of salted lemon water to boost your electrolytes. In ketosis, your kidneys secrete or lose the vital mineral sodium, so you have to pay special attention to replacing it. For salted lemon water, add one teaspoon of salt and the juice of two lemons to 32 ounces of water. Other things that help give your body a helping hand are to take your multivitamin and calcium magnesium supplement. A tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and MCT oil or coconut oil also work in different ways to relieve these symptoms. MCT and coconut oil, for example, gives a fat boost to the liver to provide energy to your brain and body. Ketones are often higher in the morning when you wake up after not drinking during the night, so to be sure to begin hydrating right away when you wake up. Hydration throughout the day is very important. If your ketone levels consistently go over 3.0, we will likely suggest adjustments to the amount of salt and carbohydrates you consume. If you notice higher ketone levels, reach out to your coach for more information and support. Here are some things to take note of. Your symptoms, for example. How do you feel? Do you have a headache? Are you dizzy? Jot down some of your other sensor data, such as blood pressure and blood sugar readings, since these give us an overall picture of how you're doing. If you have a finger stick glucose monitor, measure your blood glucose that way too. Write down blood glucose and blood pressure readings. Having these numbers handy will help your coach make any necessary adjustments. Blood sugar levels greater than 200, or an error reading, are reason to call your twin coach right away. If after hours or on the weekend, use the member support line to contact the on-call coach or physician who will assist you.